Today we are going to perform the next experiment in air breathing propulsion laboratory, which is uh, thermal analysis of a turbine blade. Okay, we are going to perform this experiment using two softwares. First, we are going to design the turbine blade in CAD software, which is SolidWorks. And we are going to import the CAD file into the ANSYS workbench and perform the simulation, which is steady state thermal. Okay, for that, first of all, choose a browser and uh, go to air file tools. Once you have searched for it, click on air file plotter. And you're going to select air file name FX63137, Watman air file, okay? Just search for it, you will find it. FX six three one three seven. Here it is six FX six three one three seven Wortman F one. Okay, select it and click on plot. Now, once you get the plot. The next step you are going to do is you are going to click on CSV file of coordinates and you are going to download it. Okay, you can close the browser. Next, go to that file, open. Here, what are going to do? You are going to select give the z coordinates which is zero okay now we'll select all these x y z coordinates copy them and paste it in notepad Save this file. Turbine coordinates. Now I can close this. Refresh it. So now what are we going to do? You go to <clears throat> Open SolidWorks. Then click on New Part. Click on OK. Now, as you guys have worked in SOLIDWORKS before, this is the features area. Here you find curves. Click on curves. Select curve through XYZ points. Here you are going to select the file. So click on browse. So you're going to select the text file. Open. So your file has been imported. Click on OK. Now go to sketch. Again, click on front plane. Sketch. Now we have to convert this part into an entity. What does this mean, Miss? When you import this, it will be imported as a curve. But we want to make it as a sketch for to make a part. So select convert entities. Click on the curve. Click OK. Now this entity, the curve is converted into a sketch. Now exit the sketch. Now go to features and click on extrude boss base. Now here you want to extrude it for 200 mm. Once you have done, click on OK. And your turbine bed has come. Now for this, we have to add the root. So what we do, we click on this surface and click on sketch. And go to center rectangle and draw some rectangle randomly. Now you have to give dimensions for that. You will give this 130. And this length you are going to give. Part. Okay. Now 
If you can, okay. Now we can move this accordingly to put it. It's up to you. You can put it exactly at the center and exit the sketch. Now I can go to features, extrude bar space. Now we are going to extrude this until only 20 mm. Or you can go for 10 mm. 10 mm is fine. Click on OK. Now this is your turbine red part, which has a root and the blade. And uh, here you can hide the curve if you want. This is your part. So you have to save this as a step file. OK. Save this to PC. I'm going to save it on desktop. And give part name turbine blade. And which type you want to do? You want to set a step. You can either go for 203 or 214 step file. I'm going for 203. OK. And click on save. Now our part in SOLIDWORKS is over. Our, we have created the part. And we're going to close the door. SOLIDWORKS. I save this and don't have to save it again anyway. Now we'll go to answers. Answers for bench. And we're going to select steady state thermal. Click and drag and drop it on create standalone style system. Here you see something called engineering data, right? So click on it, right click on it and give edit. So this is the data where you have access to a uh, number of materials, various types of materials, their properties, and uh, you can have all the data from this engineering data. So what are we going to do? We know that most of the turbine blades, they are made of titanium alloys because uh, titanium alloys, they provide good strength balance and uh, they have low density and they have more corrosion resistance. So we are going to select titanium alloy for our uh, simulation. So go to engineering data. Here you select general materials, click on it. And when you scroll down, you'll see titanium alloy. What you have to do, you have to click on the plus symbol, which means it will add this titanium alloy data to the engineering data. So when you see the book symbol, it means it is added to the data. So when you go to engineering data sources, you see structural scene and titan titanium alloy. You can delete structural steel if you want. No, only remain with the titanium alloy. Okay. Now your engineering data has been done. Now we can go to project again. Now here it is already updated, but you can update it again if you want. So now we'll go to geometry, right click on it and we'll go to, we'll use uh, design modular geometry for this. So here, the design modeler has opened. What you have to do, you have to click on file and you have to select import external geometry file. And it will automatically show the turbine blade step part, open it. And it is imported, but it has to generate. So what you have to do, you have to click on generate and the part has been imported. So this is how uh, the geometry part just have to import the geometry uh, you can do the geometry here itself you can use a design modeler to import their file tools curve here and you can extrude you can do the root section here also but uh, solidworks is an easy way to do it and to import it here it is easy this time saving process so the geometry has been important the next thing we are going to do we are going to close this